One of the biggest unsolved problems in robotics today is how to grip and manipulate objects at the level of a human. For the human hand, picking up arbitrarily shaped objects is easy, but the typical robot hand is only able to grip objects with specific shapes. More advanced robot hands exist, but they tend to be very expensive and complicated to use. What we'd like to have is a simple, easy, low-cost solution to this problem. Well, it turns out, two simple materials that you probably have in your house right now can be used to do the job. With ground coffee and a party balloon, we can construct a low-cost robot gripper that can handle all sorts of objects. The secret is what physicists call the jamming phase transition of granular materials. This means that coffee and other granular materials can be soft and flowing if they are loosely combined, but they can also be hard as a rock if you vacuum pack them. This transition is fast and reversible, and it enables our simple gripper to pick up objects with different shapes, different weights, different textures, and even fragile objects like a raw egg. Many of the objects our gripper can handle are traditionally difficult for other grippers and can even be tough for humans, picking up a coin from the table for example. Between grips, we need to reverse the jamming transition and return the coffee to its soft and flowing state. Something really interesting happens if we do this in a forceful way by blowing air back into the gripper. Now we have a gripper that can pick up different shaped objects and shoot them in a useful way. With a gripper like this, manufacturers can achieve more agile robotic assembly lines that require fewer expensive robots and fewer grippers. We can also easily imagine versatile, low-cost prosthetic devices for amputees. And we can help increase the usefulness of robots as they take on new roles in our lives for military and healthcare applications. It's a simple, low-cost solution to a difficult problem.